months ago, no one was talking about AI. Today, everyone is talking about it. A couple of years ago, no one was talking about blockchains. Everyone is talking about it. You, you, you get what I'm saying? I would say, 10 years ago, is anyone was talking about mobile money? No. You have to go to the bank, then you get money for the other person. But right now, we can transfer money in this class back to back. You, you, you get what I'm saying? So, business plans are there, but to be acted upon there and then. Because nowadays business is so dynamic that worked yesterday cannot work the other day. That's why I tell you guys, when you're competing with the other person, that might have worked for them yesterday. But for you, you are now in a different world. The way consumers used to consume last year, it's not the same way they're consuming right now. Because right now they might be economically tight, and last year they were economically free. Because there was a lot of money which is flowing into the what? The system. This gives you a certain way of understanding your consumer. Because you, when, guys, when you are here, you're going to go out there and market yourselves to these people. You need to understand how they are doing. You need to understand, like, if I want to pitch a project of 100 million shillings, how am I pitching it? And which place am I positioning myself? You, you, you get what I'm saying? You're, you're not going to pitch me a project of 100 million in a certain unique place where I don't want to show up. Because the person who's going to pay you 100 million shillings, they need a certain treatment. They want to get some water when they arrive here. They, they will even ask for coffee, and you're like, here, we don't have a coffee machine. But, but, but that, that, that's how the entitlement they have. And it's hard to change it out from them. Human beings are human beings. I'm telling you, you're, you're going to be a great designer, but you, you cannot be the greatest of the greatest if you don't know how to sell yourself. I'll do the worst drawing, but if I know how to sell it, the world will call me the best design of the entire world. Because I know how to sell that design. But if you don't know how to sell that design, no one is going to care about you. You say, I, do, I can do that better than that guy. No. You don't see it being done. They will do the other stuff for the other person because they know how to sell themselves. To go back here to the board. Let me talk about this principle. Partnerships. Who wants partnerships? Why do you want partnership? For quite some time. Mm. I've gone into a room. Yeah. And uh, I've had me go to where I want to go. Yeah. I'm thinking, we need to get to the next phase. Mm. Where I need to be. Partnerships. We'll be a great partner. Whatever I do. Don't you think yourself without a partner? Uh, I would be safe without a partner. And mm. just like ships mm. Mm. are safe at the shore, yeah. they are not meant to be at the shore. They are meant to be where the storm is. I like that. Thank you. Good, good explanation. Yes, please. partnership because mm. of one reason yes because we we all have different uh, perspectives. different perspectives abilities expertise yes. so at times you get maybe like a project something to do which has different aspects to take care of and it's just it's just uh, uh, the fact that we, you can, we can't be perfect in everything. So in areas, it, you'll find an area which needs like three different things to be done perfectly, and yet you may not have the capacity to do all of them. Okay. So you partner, you, you do your part, and you partner with some other people to execute others. You know that at the end of the day, the common goal is to achieve the perfect outcome at the end of it. Thank so you, So I think it's very difficult, especially in this kind of industry to do without partnership because you'll be perfect in one aspect and yet you are struggling in one so when you bring those abilities together you get a target and you achieve this thank you thank you yes ma'am uh, 
personally, I'm speaking experience. During the COVID lockdown, I started making our estate yeah. with my little brother. I yeah. started it alone. Yeah. My brother joined me along the way. Why he joined me along the way was one. He he had the skill better than I did. Yeah. But I knew how to approach the people. I knew how to make the friends. Okay. You knew how to sell. I knew how to sell. Yeah. People would buy my bands because it is alpha. Yeah. Okay. Mm. My brother, on the other hand, had the skill. Mm. He made the bands and went out to sell. In the rain, on the hot sun, I did that. It's, it's not when it's just when just that it was a bit hard, but along the way it kept on simplifying. Yeah. Even the do you know we had the judge stage, eh? the border judge. Those guys would give me free lifts because they knew what I was doing. Yeah, they want to give you an extra support. So for me, partnership, like you say, we all have different. We all view the world differently. Do you think partnership is only viewed in a sense of business? Not in the business. Mm. A partnership is also viewed through, I would say, skills. Maybe I would also say learning. Mm -hmm. Like though we are all learning here, I may be a first learner, he may not. Mm -hmm. But because we all have, maybe we share certain uh, principles. Personally, how do you see partnership on a personal standpoint? Personally, partnership. Uh, to me, it feels like a kind of friendship that needs to be grown and nurtured. Do, do you think when you're growing up, you had a great opportunity to have a great partnership with your parents and, and family? Well, it has been a bit bumpy, but people ask me, how are you able to come up to do that right now? I'll tell you guys, like, it starts now right now because you may have missed it in the past through parents or through family and all that but right now it's starting now because for me when i was young to to finish that song for you guys i used to go with my dad to the bank and then we check okay you got 500k but i tell you before we get home i think we, we don't have more than like 70 70k i'll tell you the truth because you you know uganda but in certain ways when you're growing there's certain Life, so you're going to pass through. You, 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 you live on the dead life, step by step. But as you grow, you expand it and structure it better and nurture it better. You get what I'm saying? Because we, we, we are not looking at only what is the worst, but what can be great for our future. Not so? People ask me, okay, you enter into the bank and you, your loan is approved. You don't have to go. You know, people only think about like, okay, that guy has money, he's going to corrupt the manager, he's going to corrupt the CEO, he's going to corrupt the other person to get the money which he wants. No, it doesn't work like that. There are people with culture. And the culture is being built from beginning of foundation. All of us here, we're going to grow up. Uh, some of you may have kids already. Some of you may be hoping to, to, to get kids in the future. But I want to teach you a certain principle which was growing into me. I was wondering, why is this guy every time he takes me to the bank? And before we leave the bank, he wants me, everyone, to know my name. Every time, end of the month, he picks me up, we go together, we pick the money, he makes sure everyone knows my name. Why do you think he used to do that? Who can guess? Good. Good answer, my brother. That's what all of us, we need here. Like, show up. When you show up, people will get to know your name. People will get to know who you are. People will vow for you. you. You get what I'm saying? All of you, as you are here studying together, you are vowing for each other because you are being taught by the same teachers. You are being taught by the same coordinators. You can vow for what? For each other. So when I used to go with my dad to the bank, what happened is that now the person who was their branch manager, now you meet them in the position of being a CEO. You think they're going to deny me alone? Because they now show up again and again and again and again. And the only way you succeed is showing up again, again, and again. You know what is going to happen to most of you here? After this course, you're not going to show up again and again. You're not going to show up and again. You're not going to show up. And then you ask, why am I not succeeding? Why am I not striving? 
but you left a piece of the diamond in the place. Let me tell you guys, when you leave such a place like this, your, your presence everywhere you step has to be known from this presence. You get what I'm saying? For him, as he's seated here, he has, he is the founder. You are seated on his foundation. Now you guys are like the leaves, which are like, you be dropped everywhere. But you as a leaf, don't fall away from the tree. Like the wind starts taking you away. Start taking you away. Then you start looking for opportunity and you're like, oh my God, the world is moving me left and right. But you forgot the principle of like, the foundation is here. Keep on showing up, guys. I'll tell you, when you keep on showing up, the people who are here get more interested in you. Because you are not just here for a moment. And if you live a life of a moment, you cannot succeed because no one can vouch for you. No one can put in a word for you. And every project you're going to do, you need someone to vouch for you. Every project you're going to do, you need a reference. You get what I'm saying? So I beg you, as you're finishing this course, stay. Maninga chido, which color, like you know that those things which grow somewhere and they, they never goes out. They dig it, it comes back again. Be that person and you see the, the fruits of that. I'll tell you guys. Stay. Keep on showing up. Because when you keep on showing up, opportunities also show up. The first day, it might be just a, an introduction of something. The next day you show up, something might... The next day you show up, then you might be like, hey, this guy keeps on showing up. What can we give him? So that's an up, something which I want you guys to do. In anything you do in life, if you're interested in some place, own something, keep on showing up. Even people in that place will start asking, who is that person? Because no one is going to trust you to do anything if they don't know you. But this keep on showing up. It, every time you come in a different character. They get even to see when you're annoyed. They get to see you when you are hungry. They get to see you when you are happy. Now they can have a definition of you as a person. Because you keep on doing what? Showing up.